Welcome to this help video on recording mileage with uh, our tracker apps. Um, I have a simulator running here, running Mile Tracker, but this, um, the features we're going to be talking about today are applicable to Expense Tracker and Biz Expense Tracker as well. And um, the key part of this video is to introduce or explain, this feature actually has been in the app for a little bit now, but it's not widely known, is called the Multiple Mileage Locations. And uh, we'll talk about that in depth in a moment. But because this is a mileage tracking help video, I want to quickly review all the different ways you can track mileage with Mile Tracker and Expense Tracker and Biz Expense Tracker. So um, if you're familiar with the app, uh, the key thing for the app is that you have to have at least one log. And a log is simply a folder. So we're just going to create a new log. I'm not even going to give it a title. I'm just going to simply save it. And we're brought to the, um, the entry list form. So that'll list all our entries. We don't have any entries yet. But I'm going to create a new mileage entry. <clears throat> and let's take a look at um, the different ways to track mileage real quickly. And then I'll go over the, um, the multiple mileage location feature. So the first way is the old-fashioned simplest way is to enter in a start odometer and a stop odometer. Now we have a whole video describing this particular feature and uh, some of the other mileage tracking features. Um, if you go to the help videos uh, section in our support page, you'll see that. Um, but basically you enter in a start odometer, a stop odometer, and you save the entry. It'll do the difference and calculate your mileage um, uh, and also apply a... Um, uh, a reimbursement amount based on the allowance you set here. That's the start and stop odometer. If you know the total mileage, that's the second way, you can just enter a total. So if you know you've gone 100 miles and you just want to enter it, you can enter it that way. That's the second way. Now, the, the, um, the third way is to enter in from and to locations. So if you tap on the from, the first field is a nickname field. You can just give it a short name. But the more important second field is the location. So you'd actually enter in an address here. And um, if I enter an address here, uh, let's say and save this, you'll see the location icon there indicating that, um, that it knows that location, it's found that location. And then if you tap the two and then enter an address, save it, it's going to actually calculate the distance based on the frequent location, excuse me, the frequent um, routes that people travel to get from those two points and prompt you with a, a distance to accept or decline. Um, once you do that, then it'll, um, it'll calculate the, the, um, the, the amount and fill in the mileage. So that's the third way. Now, um, there is, um, uh, let's see, uh, well, I'm going to just uh, cancel this, create a new mileage entry. Uh, there is a fourth way, and the fourth way is to use GPS tracking. Now, this is part of the app. This is not the subscription-based feature, which I'll mention in a moment. This is part of the app, and what we call this is live mileage tracking. And what you do is you open up an entry, you tap the options button and you select start live tracking. So immediately what, what happens is the app will, um, will start watching your every movement and accumulate. You'll see this accumulate. Actually, I have it in a simulator here. It's going on a, a little bit of a route. So it's actually accumulating mileage. And then um, when you get to your destination, you hit the stop live tracking and it'll take the accumulated mileage and ask you to accept or decline that. That's the fourth way. Now, the fifth way is, um, is an optional uh, subscription-based feature, which is called AutoTrack. And it does basically what we just, which I just showed you, but it does it completely automatic. It detects your movements, and it knows when you're in a car, and starts tracking your mileage and accumulates it, and then gives you a list of drives that you've gone on that you can either approve or disapprove um, and delete. 
So um, that's the fourth way. Or that's the fifth. That's the fifth way. Now um, to to learn more about that, we have a whole video, an in-depth video on our website um, that you can watch. This is a very popular feature, but it does come with a monthly or a yearly. You get to choose um, uh, subscription. If you um, if you do the monthly, um, it's it's billed to your uh, your uh, your iTunes account after 30 days. So you actually get a free, completely free 30 day trial. You're not billed a penny until after the 30 days or upon the 30 days. Um, if you do the yearly subscription, then you get uh, 10 months for the price of, of uh, you get 12 months for the price of 10. So you're getting a, you're getting a, a break there. Now that's the, um, the last way before we get into the, the new multiple mileage location feature. So I'm going to cancel this. And this is what um, this video is intending to, um, to be. Well, let's see, I'm going to uh, go into the preferences screen here. And I'm going to scroll down to the section called field usage. There's field usage. I'm going to scroll down just a bit more and turn on multiple mileage locations. Hit save. We're going to go back into our log, tap new, and create a mileage entry. Now, I just want to say this feature is very popular with realtors and um, it'll, uh, it, for the very reason that you create one entry per day and you record all your locations and it'll accumulate all your mileage but it will have it will save all the addresses that you visit. So um, that's the, the beauty of this particular um, multiple mileage location feature. So once you turn that on in the preferences screen, you're not going to see thing much different until you start using the entry. So let's say we're starting from 100 Boston Post Road. And uh, I'm, let me show you that again. Notice that um, there's frequent locations here. The little icon here represents that it knows that location, it has the GPS location stored in it. And if we tap on that, I'll do that again, and it'll enter the from. Now with the two, this is just like the, what we were looking at before, not, nothing much different. Um, let's enter a, another address, say um, 1 Union Ave Sudbury. Just do Sudbury Mass. Save that. Now this is um, this is what we've seen as well before. It'll detect the mileage and ask you to accept or decline. We'll accept it. So now we have a total mileage of 1.6. Um, but here's where the difference appears. Uh, right here you see this green plus button. This is where you add your next destination. So what you do is as you visit each, say you're a realtor and you're visiting you're with a client and you're visiting um, different homes that you're showing them. So what you want to do is tap the plus button here, enter the next address. Um, I'm going for just for the sake of um, simplicity, I'm just going to tap a frequent location that's in the list already, but you could certainly add the address here. Or what is really nice is if you are at that location, which you likely would be, you tap the set button and you choose current location, it'll grab your current location, fill it in, and then um, uh, and then uh, save that location. But I'm just going to hit the um, 144 North Road here. It's going to de de determine that we've, we've moved, ask you to accept or decline this mileage, we're going to accept it. See the mileage goes up, and um, and you just can, can repeat this as many times as you want in a day. So you can have uh, quite a few uh, different uh, destinations. Once again, you start with a from and you just enter in multiple twos. Now this feature is very sophisticated in that if you make a mistake and need to fix something, it is very smart. So let's, let's take an example. Let's say you made a mistake. Um, well, let's first add another address to make it more um, more interesting. So let's uh, let's go to um, from 144. Let's go to uh, I don't know 10 Concord Road, Sudbury. All right. So I'm 
going to save that. Of course, it's going to ask me, uh, do I want to accept that? I'm going to accept it. All right. So now, look, I have several addresses, and I realized that um, I made a mistake. From one Union Nav, I didn't go to 144 North Road. I went actually to 10 Concord Road, so I want to delete this. So you click on it, and you'll notice that there's a delete button in the upper left-hand corner. Tap the delete button, and I ask, of course, you want to be sure, yes, delete location. And what I'll do is, it's smart because it, it, it will ask you, do you want to reduce the mileage based on the difference? You've, you've made a, a, an itinerary change, hence the, the driving distances are different. So you reduce it. And now it's, it's even smarter because it realizes that, yes, you've reduced you, that distance that you went, but do you want to recalculate now the di distance between the two locations? And uh, sure, we'll, locate, we'll compute, recompute it. And yeah, we'll accept the half mileage, half mile. And now our mileage appropriately shows from 100 Boston Post Road to 1 Union Ave to 10 Concord Road is 2.1 miles. So if you make a mistake, you can easily fix it. And if you follow the prompts, it's really foolproof. So um, that's, that's uh, multiple mileage location. Um, when you create reports, um, uh, the, the, the two addresses all show up as well. Um, if you, uh, if, there is an instance where if you create uh, many, many locations, uh, you might run out of space on, on the PDF report. But um, if you do, you can contact us and we can send you a report that has more room um, allocated to the two locations so that it will not get clipped. Um, I just want to say one more thing in this, in this section because um, I, I kind of mentioned realtors and I, I'm looking at this form and seeing that we're missing a key fee, field here, which is the client field. So I'm just going to save this. I'm going to go into preferences and I want to make sure that people don't miss. We looked at it before the field usage section. Um, that there's a lot of different fields that by default are turned off. And um, you can learn about all the preferences and the fields in our preferences uh, help video. But I just want to turn on client because that's kind of important. Go back into the log, go back into the entry, and you'll see there's a client field. So for you people who have um, uh, several clients, you can build a whole list of all your clients here. I'll just show you the new client form there. And, um, and select those clients and associate them with a particular entry. And then the benefit of that is that you can actually create a report group by client and see all the different information, uh, the entries that you've entered for a particular client. Um, that's all for today on this. The, once again, the feature is called Multiple Mileage Locations. It's accessible from the Preferences screen. I recommend everyone to go into our website, silverwaresoftware.com, go to the support page, then click on Help Videos, and peruse the different help videos. There's quite a few different ones. Um, some are older than others, um, but if they're up there, they're, um, they're applicable and they show the little icons of what apps they're applicable to. Um, so I uh, hope you like this feature. I hope more people use it um, uh, now that you're aware of it. And um, if there's anything else, uh, please email us at info at silverwaresoftware.com. And also check out our users forum. Uh, that's also on a website where you can post questions and either have other users answer them or uh, we'll answer them. Thank you very much.